and was... said, yeah, right, I can give you, I'll give you like a, a pill or an injection or something, right, and you'll be ripped mm. for f- forever. Yeah. But it'll take five years off your life. But like you'll die, like you were gonna die when you were ninety, you'll die when you're eighty five. Yeah. But until you're eighty five, you can eat what the fuck you want and you'll be absolutely hen up. Like, I can't tell you how easy a decision that is. <laughs> yeah. I'll look fucking amazing in photos. And let's be honest, if between eighty five and eighty five's yeah. enough in it. Yeah. Like I'm sorry if there's any eighty six. I mean you I, you say that, but then when you get to eighty five you'll probably be like, Oh, I could do with another year, yeah. Yeah, totally. I'm sure when you get to eighty five you're not gonna die. Through a series on Netflix or but something. that's because it becomes subjective then, doesn't it? Yeah. Because you're eighty five and you're like, I, it's about me, I don't wanna die. Realistically, we should let eighty five year olds die. <laughs> like know. I wanna live to them two hundred, mate. No, nah. why? What? what for? Because you just get more. You just want to live in the hospital. You want to just go no, in, in and out of scans. Because I think, look, think about medical science. Once, like now, I will, I'm 38 now. So by the time in 40 years now, because all that stem cell shit. Do you I'm know? I'm getting stem cells all over me. Do you I'm, know? I'm, any I'm, I'm gonna look younger than this now when I'm 80. But this is a pipe dream, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's not. No. Joe Rogan said. Oh, does he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, if he He's says it, it's fucking now, real. <laughs> <laughs> fucking DMT podcast, God. That's who he is now. He does He's DMT like-, like me, so I believe everything he fucking says. Exactly. Joe is the fucking man. <laughs> Joe is freely admits. Joe Rogan, if you listen to him, freely admits he looks into fuck all and yeah. just speaks on it. And nobody gets people on who say, like, he has people on who say, like, he, like, he reckons the first person to live to 200. He reckons. Yet they reckon. Yeah, but they're clever, but though, aren't it's, they? it's all speculation. It is speculation, and but I, 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 like, just like you with conspiracy theories, I, I prefer to believe that it's true. For okay, but based on right now, be, based on what being 85 is right now. Yeah, you're fucked, are yeah. Do you want to live to 200? Because that's fucking... Although, look at fucking Sylvester Stallone. How old is he? He's in, he must be 80 now. Yeah, but he's, he's been he having looks, a stroke since he was 21, he the way he talks. Than you. Yeah, I'm sure he does. He doesn't sound better than me, though, no. does he? <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, but he sounded like that when he was in Rocky. Exactly. Yeah. He's fucked. <laughs> that's not, yeah, but that's not to do with his age. That's just because he's fucked. Yeah, he's just fucked, but he's not happy either. There's no 85 year olds who are happy to get up. He's no 85 year olds. No, he isn't. He's happy there. Based on what? Based on, he, he's still no 85-year-old gets up with a smile on the face. No 85-year-old, as the sun coming through the fucking curtains and it's like, another day, then more of this shit. That's their first thought. Every single fucking morning is this again. More fucking sunshine. Yeah, but you do that now. I know I do. That's why I don't want <laughs> to do you, it until I'm 86. So why don't you just want, don't want, you just want to die now? No, Imagine, because I can you just still, went home and killed yourself tonight. Because I can still do gigs at the minute. You can't be fucking 85. You can't gig when you're 85. You can't. Sure, Ken Dodd gigged when he was 85. You can't. It's hard enough to remember me material now. Ken Dodd did four hours when he was 85. Exactly. Yeah, he's flying. I mean, he'd done the same fucking 10 minutes over and over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm terrified of old age. And I always have been. Like, you know, when you just. I'm only scared of like dementia or something. No, I'm scared of all of it. I, I, I just think you look at a really old guy, especially men, they, they just fucked. There's, there's no joy there. It's constant confusion. I don't know, you know. I've and seen they some know. Happy fellas, mate. They know the grandkids are eyeing the house up. And it must <laughs> constantly. You know, when you can see. Do you ever like. You ever been like with like an elderly relative or someone else's, right? At a big family gathering. Next time you're at it and the people watching. Just pay attention to this. You'd be at a family gathering, right? And it's like, I don't know, someone's 50th and there's fucking 87-year-old granddad's there and he's on his lazy. He's, he's going in the next year or so. And you try and have a conversation with them and it, he'll just be like, like looking around the room and people think he can't concentrate on the conversation. He absolutely can. It's not that. He's looking at his different grandkids and making sure they're not putting any in his fucking coffee and shit because they think they're trying to fucking get them off so that they can get their inheritance early. <laughs> that level of paranoia, I just can't live with. Kill me at 70. I'll be happy. 